Oh, my sixth season, I actually cannot believe it's been that long, to be honest. But um, I think it's just I feel really confident here, really comfortable. I'm thankful for the university, kind of all the experiences that I've had here, just the coaching staff that I've uh, managed to be coached by, the players that have been here and the calibre of it. It's always been drawn. Obviously, the facilities and the support that I get from the university is great. So I am really looking forward to doing my sixth season, but very scary that it's got six already. <laughs> been a few highlights. I think obviously getting to the grand finals, like getting there twice, was incredible. And obviously not the outcome we wanted, but to say that you were in kind of that top two was phenomenal. And obviously winning Fast Five the first time that came round was really great and such a good experience. And I think to do that for Karen Atkinson was really good, a bit of a send off um, for her. But yeah, there's been some great close games, obviously versus kind of Manchester Thunder and kind of Watts and just kind of those really tough battles. I always really enjoy the season. Um, I think we've all been based here, I think that's kind of our little ingredient that we say is great. We're a very close squad each year and there's a lot of young ones now coming through the university which is really good. But I think the fact that we're all based here and local, there's not many of us that travel really to and from. So I think that really helps, kind of that off-court bond that you definitely then see on the court. Gary then, getting his old head, Gary, but um, uh, I don't know, I think possibly for me it's still kind of enjoying my netball and I want to make sure that everyone is doing that no matter what age you are and I think that's really important to the sport that kind of the higher it goes and it gets a bit more tense and a bit more nervous at the top but I think I just want to make sure, especially the young ones in our team that are here at the university, we're learning off them, they're learning off us and um, I think that's what's so great, I want to make sure that happens this season, that we're kind of all as one here but we can learn from each other all the time. Definitely a whirlwind and obviously not one that we wanted to happen. Um, yeah, it was really good to obviously first five minutes, first game, opening game, Birmingham to get kind of my foot fracture and injury. Definitely wasn't the plan I wanted and then obviously Covid happened that kind of made the season stop. So yeah, it's definitely different to anyone we've ever experienced but I think it was a whirlwind for a lot of people obviously, not just me but I was really good at the start of the season and I felt like I was still trying to offer something to the team and I would have been there every game still supporting the girls and I think they were really starting to get some momentum so hopefully we can take that on from February this year. First session training, so I cannot wait to get going and see the girls. I've probably not seen some of them for kind of six months in face to face. Obviously I've been training with the Roses um, since summer, so I feel like I've got a good level of fitness coming, but there's still a lot that I want to work on and I just can't wait to see the girls and just kind of get going. I think we're all itching. I think when something gets taken away from you that you absolutely love, it kind of makes you finally find love and just appreciate it even more. So I think we're all just really ready to go. I think we've always got that belief and obviously it's always really competitive in that top four. You don't know what's going to happen and who's going to get in it and we want that within the league. I think it's just making sure we have that belief in that crunch time when obviously the important moments come. Winning when it matters is what you need to do. So I think we'll be working on that behind the scenes and how we can make sure we can feel that pressure in a lot of different scenarios so when the crunch time comes we can go. Yeah, I was so happy when I found out Beth was back. I just thought, yeah, we've got, kind of got one of the girls back that obviously just gone on, flown the nest, but had a really good experience. And obviously, she's just great for the team, just her energy, her personality, her performance on court, but off court as a leadership as well would be really great for us. So she brings a lot of energy, definitely lots that we need. So yeah, I can't wait to have her. I think we've got a good connection, especially that centre wing defence position. And yeah, so I know she's definitely wanting to stay fit and keep her fitness going. So the two of us hopefully will keep pushing each other for that. Is to stay fit. I want no more injuries. I feel like I've ticked it off. I'm done with it. So fitness for me, getting the foot fine for the whole season will be massive. Um, I think I'm always thankful for the coaches because they push me every year. You can always better your game no matter what age you are. And I'm excited for those young ones to push me as well and just kind of get me running up and down because their fitness levels are phenomenal. So there's a few personal targets in that sense. And I think for the team, it will always be top four. But getting that final. I think after the year that everybody's had just to bring back netball and sport to people and to kind of win within this crazy season. 
just playing netball. Who knows what can happen or how it's going to turn out and we don't know whether the club will be fans or not and things like that so I think it's all kind of we're just hoping for a season and that moment if I can just step out there and play a game of netball and put that dress on will be the best feeling ever when obviously I've not done it since February last year so fingers crossed.